What did y'all think of my new boots? <laughs> Okay, 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 I get it. Jeez, you don't have to be so rude, little birdies. Good evening, cowboys and cowgirls. Today, I wanted to give you my first impressions of my White's Hawthorne 110V boots. So, some of the features that come with this boot are a leather insole and shank, burn-resistant threading for the welts, as well as a fire and ice vibram sole. They have a 10 inch shaft for your leg to fit into. And they're just an all around good boot. So this boot is a monster. It just eats up the landscape. You have Leather that's six to eight ounces with, I believe, the exception of the tongue, but they give you a false tongue, which helps protect the actual tongue from wear and tear. As you can see there, this is a few days old and I'm already starting to get wear marks. You have a stacked leather heel and a piece of leather right here for the shank. You have a double stitched welt that is also glued to make sure your boot stays in place and these really solid grommets and hooks that don't go anywhere and you have a smooth leather insole as well as no insulation on the interior which is really good for work applications because it helps keep your feet cool and if your boots get wet it means they dry more quickly and you're less likely to get blisters all in all these boots fit pretty well right out of the box despite them not being the custom boots they have just enough room for all my little piggies in here they have enough room for the one that went to market for the one that stayed home for the one that had roast beef, the one that had none, and for the one right over here, yeah, you can't even really see it, that cried wee 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 all the way home. But that being said, they don't have so much room that your little piggies are all over the landscape. They are a little bit long in the toe right now. Tiffany from White's said that you should have around three-fourths of an inch space up here because as your boots break in they will shrink in the toe and become wider around this section and this section that being said as I've been breaking these boots in the spots that have given me the most trouble have been right here in the ankle a little bit down here in the toes and on this boot over here, this section right in here has not given enough give yet. And then they're just all around stiff, but that's to be expected from a really good, really sturdy work boot. Is they're going to be really difficult to break in. I think some people said that they'll take around six months to break in. And... I can kind of testify to that. That being said, after three days of use, I'd say they're comfortable enough to wear in general. And I'm really excited to wear in these boots. I will continue to update you guys on my journey with these boots as they take me through my summer. Until next time, please like, comment and subscribe and keep cowboy traditions alive thanks for watching y'all